Okay, so welcome back to another video. Today's video is a uh, simple inequality proof, and we want to show that the mathematical constant E is strictly greater than 2 plus uh, 40 divided by 63. Uh, it's a simple analysis problem. It's basically, it, the most straightforward method to do this is just using the um, series representation of E and then expanding its terms out and then analyzing like how to um, add those sums up together. And I think it's also worth noting that specifically what um, E is, the, the, the number E is evaluated as numerically is E is approximately um, 2.718282. And then whereas the following um, right side of our inequality, the finite sum 2 plus 40 over 63, that's um, approximately um, 2.71. Six six six, and then, um, we'll just write that as a repeating decimal. So obviously, you can see that the difference between these two is that e, you can see that obviously e is bigger compared to the um, the other side of the inequality. But we want to show that how. Obviously, <laughs> for one, you got a calculator, so that's easy to verify that. But you know, if we're talking about from like back then where calculators don't exist, then you have to show how is it possible that e is strictly greater than the following. So that's basically the gist. We just take that um, power series, the series representation of our mathematical constant. Or I say rather the um, the series the the definition the series definition of our constant e, and then expand that, analyze the sum, and see like where we can get from there. So anyway, let's just jump in. So we so it's well known that obviously we know that um, e the the series um, definition for um, the mathematical constant itself is equal to the infinite sum, starting with n is equal to zero, of one divided by n factorial. So this makes sense. Obviously, you can see that if you write um, the function, the exponential function e to the power x, its um, infinite series representation the, is represented as um, x to the power n, then divided by n factorial, where for x we plug x equals 1, and hence we just plug that in, and that's how we get the um, constant itself as the series representation. So now from there, let's actually expand this um, infinite sum out, which obviously it's easy to see what you can do from here. Now if we start, um, okay, so our first term starts at zero, so we have one zero, divided by zero factorial, then one divided by one factorial plus one divided by two factorial plus three, um, or one divided by three factorial, you just keep on going so on and so forth. Then from here, if we evaluate our terms, so obviously one divided by zero factorial is one, add this with, that's one, add this with uh, two factorial is, is two, so one half. I'm gonna write out maybe I say um, the first, um, well, eight terms. So from n is equal to zero and then seven, and then write the um, ellipsis from there. So we have one divided by three factorial, that's times three, so one over six. Add this with one over uh, 24. Add this with one over, what is it, 120. Add this with one over 720. Add this with one over 5080. Then the series continues on, so on and so forth. Now, we're gonna actually group this a little differently. So I'm gonna actually gonna put some parentheses on the specific sum. And what that will do is it let us um, evaluate the terms, like simplify it a little bit easier. And once we perform that step, you're gonna notice that some um, interesting things happen. So I'll first, what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'm going to rewrite the same expression over here on the top. So we have one plus one plus one over two plus one over six, plus one over, um, what is it, 24. And um, I'll stop after once um, 720 and then follow the ellipse because we're really looking at, um, so now what we're doing here is we're actually going to look at um, specifically our rational, um, our rational terms. So when I say we're grouping this with the parentheses, so let's first focus on um, these first two rational numbers on our um, series expansion. So we have one plus one, okay? So obviously that's two. Then if we simplify this out, then we have one half 
Then add this with one over six. Obviously, if you um, just find the common denominator, so what is it that's um, six? So that will be four over six. Then I'll put this back with add with our 124, then follow that with the grouping. So now we're looking at four over six and then add this with one over 24. So now that I'll follow by a um, parentheses. So we just keep going, add 120, add this with one, seven, um, one over 720, one over 50, 80. Now we just, actually it's basically just repeating the same process over and over. So this is still be two. Then next thing we just want to evaluate is four over six plus one over 24. Then obviously you can see that just performing some algebra that will come down to um, 17 over 24. Now let's actually move the one over 20 into our parentheses. So one and then one 20. Then we're gonna just close the parentheses off over here. Then add back with our um, original, our, well, with more of the series expanded out. Now we just need to evaluate this series over, or the, the, the sum of these two rational numbers over here. Then we have two, add this with, um, oh, this print is supposed to be in black, just so we can see, visually see what's going on. Uh, add, add the two rational functions up, or rational numbers up, we have 86 over 100, um, 120, not 140, uh, 120. Then the parentheses stops there because now next step is you're going to see it's very, um, it's actually very interesting to see what's happening from here. Then 50, 80. So 86 over 120 can be um, further simplified down as 2 plus, guess what, 43 over 60. Then we add this with 1720, add this with 1508 or 80 so on and so forth but guess what we just showed that e is um, in fact equal to this series expansion over here but if we take a look closely we want to show that 2 plus um, 40 over 63 is less than e which which is what we um, finitely calculated to have this sum but we're also adding more infinitely more sums expanded so now we can draw the conclusion and say that this is indeed strictly greater than our um, 2 plus 40 over 63. So we can therefore conclude and say that E is indeed greater than 2 plus 40 divided by 63, like so. Very simple proof. Um, I think this is more of a basic analysis uh, question when you're asking about, um, well, well, really it's just more of um, analyzing how the real numbers operate especially. So I think that's, uh, very easy problem for anybody that's taking like an introductory of um of an analysis course so this is um this is the way so yep that's a uh, pretty cool if you ask me